All right, well, hopefully this will come out pretty good. All right, so here's your dog with the little uh, shim behind it, which is laying in here. And then you can see the groove, which goes up. I'm just gonna leave this out so I don't drop it again. It just kind of goes right up in these little fingers here. So when you pull this off, it didn't fall off. It fits right there. So there's your solenoid. That's this piece here. The solenoid's on the back side. So when it clicks it down, it, it releases it. So without power on it, like I said, there's no power to it. That's 12 volt. This is, I think it's 12 volt. There's no power to it. Then uh, the dog is pushed in because there's a spring here. So it's sprung, pushed in by default, which it goes right in there. So it falls down inside of these uh, little fingers here. Let's see if I can turn this. There you go. Okay, so you can see where it goes. It goes right down in here. And it's spring loaded. There it goes. There it goes. So it's spring loaded down there, locking that rear end into uh, uh, one side to the other. You know, both rear wheels are locked when that little dog falls down in there. So that's by default. Okay, there's your. Not quite what I thought it would look like, but at uh, any rate. At any rate, uh, your bearing here, uh, it doesn't look like it's going to be too hard to get the bearing out. If that, uh, I don't know, it's hard to say just from looking at it and playing with it. Standing here, if it's really bad or not, at any rate. So then I'll pull this out. This just pops out. We'll look and see your bearings on the other side and then the ring gear where the play is. Because here you can uh, grab this maybe and turn it. I'm not sure. Yeah, okay. So. And then between this and the top piece, see where our play and all our stuff is. Now you can see the uh, gasket, little gasket material here. A little bit came off so you should get this off because it's all around the inside of this thing and to pop this off you see where these overlaps are here here and here that's where you can put a screwdriver in and work it and pop the case off so it's really very easy to pop off once you get your screws out you just reach in right here and so forth or there or on the top to a couple places there you can pry a little bit and it'll just pop apart and then it just slides right off but don't drop the ring off and uh, this just fits right on top of the bearing there so pretty easy so far i'll do some more video thanks